It's all around. I, wish I, I bet you guys are wondering why I gather you today. No? Take it away, Michael. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, we're Toxosaurus, and today we are playing a game called Snake Oil. Henry here, if you could explain the game for me. This guy. So Snake Oil is a card game where one of us will pick a customer card. We'll each take turns being the customer. And it's got uh, pretty much a character on it. So either like Pregnant Woman or Paparazzo. And then the other three players will take two cards to create an item. Like Friend Oil, for instance. And then they'll have to pitch that item tailored to the customer card. Uh, funniest pitch gets the customer card. And we're going to go down the line once. And, or... So, the... how do you want to start it then? Do you want like Nate to go and then we'll Yeah, we'll do Nate first. So um, counterclockwise, I'm the customer? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, so six... Yeah, for what is your turn? Draw your customer card. By the go. Way, we can, uh, go. We're cutting out a bunch of other stuff just so that way it flows a lot better. Including Will you please shut up? No. Not you. <laughs> but also you. He's yelling at me for sure. Customer you. card. Yeah. Hello. Tora, come here. So you can pick either side. Cora. Because there's two sides hey. to it. Oh. That's a shadow. Look, it's stupid. <laughs> there's no auto Instant stable. million views because there's a cat in the video. It <laughs> <laughs> turns out that's what our channel right. turns into. <laughs> what, what, what you is? Um, I'm going to be a castaway. Oh, a castaway? <laughs> Alright, I got one for you. <laughs> All the Tom Hanks possibilities. Okay, so you're a castaway. Yes. As a castaway, this could come in use to you. Someone who's been stranded on an island for a week, to a month, to a year. We all know how scary it can be. We need any easy step as we can take. So, what I have for you is bottled lightning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Elaborate. What you can do with it, you don't need to worry about flint and steel no more, slapping rocks together to create fire, nothing. <laughs> with just one cork pop of this bottle of lightning, instant fire all around. You don't one have to worry only. about no one, yep, one use only. Okay, so you use it wisely. You can't trap it. It's very hard. It's, it was already hard enough to get in the bottle, but for you, we kept it easy. You don't have to worry about those predators anymore for only $39.99, or for you... Two radishes and three coconuts. Where am I gonna get radishes on this island? <laughs> you don't know how to make sand radishes. <laughs> All right, what's the order going for me? All right, me. Let's go. All right. Bottle Stay with me here. <laughs> so, you, you you've been cast away for a while, man. I, it gets lonely. I, I get it. Hey, you get all them 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 shirtless ladies. You get sick of it, you know. So, you, you just need something familiar. So, what I got for you. Family window. This is. I say it's a. <laughs> stay with me. It's a window, and you can see your family through it. It's like a. It's, it's like a picture, but, and you can't go through it. It's just. It's. Is it real time? It, it's not. It doesn't move. It's your it's, it's family. Oh, so, uh, so it's just, just a picture. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, a, it's a window. Yeah. Huh? It's a window. <laughs> uh, a tiny window frame. You get to see your family through it. Put it up on your yeah, your your window. palm tree. Put it up on your your little hut. Whatever. You, Put it on the naked lady's head. You can see your family through it. <laughs> there you go. Tree canopy. This all is, is going to have to do. So th this will keep you company. You got your family. Dude, you got a window. Can Bre you talk to them through Bre it? Bre no. Okay. No, they're still. They can't, they can't move. They can't react. Nothing. Worst case, break it. You got a window. Well, I guess I'm not going to need my family portrait anymore. There you go. I see, decide yeah. to go with this. It's all just right. a bigger one. All right. <laughs> I admire my competition here. They pitched you the bottle lightning, the lightning in a bottle deal. They pitched you the family window, which is essentially apparently just a picture. <laughs> it's a window. It's a window. It's a window. I may be sold. But I know you. All right. You're a castaway. You know, you're miles away on some island somewhere. Nobody's going to find you, right? You don't have shelter or anything. I've got just the item for you. New from Hen Pie Co., we've got the phone house. All right, so picture it, you know, you're already casted away, try to build a lean-to or something to keep you out of that pesky weather. Don't need to, because you got the phone house. Giant phone right there, ready to live in. <laughs> you ever, <laughs> you ever not, not call people, not call people, it's a house. <laughs> you ever hear that? It's a house. You can live in it comfortably, safe, away from the elements and critters of, of the night. 
It's shaped like a phone. Real talk. You ever hear about that? Yeah. Remind, yeah. Rem- <laughs> right? remind you that you can't not that you're get tele- off from the world. I can't. I can't receive any telemarketing calls. Anymore. No, you can't. No one will call Real you. Talk you can't call them. A phone booth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, that family who lives in the shoe ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> so, so which which product do you want to go with? Bottle lightning. Damn it! Damn it. <laughs> if ever I need to kill myself because I realize all this is bullshit or I didn't go with the family window. All right. I'm going to have to kill myself. With the family window. <laughs> God damn, that's awesome. Either, right, that, Michael, either that or I was going to go with moon window. <laughs> oh, you didn't go with Rockstar? Oh, okay, no. I guess it would have been funnier. Okay. I'm Tiny Pickle. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking like sequence with like uh, he's the pickle and he's getting into the guy. I haven't seen pickle Rick. Okay, fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank God, yeah, it's, it's I mean, so great. It's not like spoiler alert anyway. It it is no a little. About. He's fucking I mean, pickle Rick. He's pickle Rick. All right. Oh, shit. That dude, I didn't even know about pickle Rick. Oh my god. Well, sports fan. I'm a sports fan. Right, I'll start since sports. I'm next to him. All right, sports fan. So you're you're a big fan of sports. You like to go to sports games, you know? Absolutely. It's a big crowd of people. It's mm-hmm. really hot, you know. I got a solution for you. A lava fan. Makes it hot all the time. You turn it off, gets cooler. Like you're like, oh man, this is so much nicer because it was already it was already so hot. Like in the worst case, turn around, get everybody off you, turn it off, and you just chill. Like you lava fan. Oh my god, I get if I couldn't get the seat for my best friend, turn on my lava fan. Dude, couldn't afford front, couldn't afford front row seats? No lava one can fan. have those fucking seats anymore with my lava fan. <laughs> Can't get a signature from your favorite guy? Hey, I got the lava fan. If you don't sign it, click the button. Go, oh, okay, here you go. Get your signature. There you go, lava fan. All right. Now I know you. All right. You're a sports fan. You like to go watch your sports. You like to watch them with your friends. But sometimes, sometimes people, they don't vote for your team. And you want to shame those people, right? You want to make them feel like they're crap because they're not supporting your favorite sports team. Ken Pico's got the perfect product for you. The Shame Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with me here, sports fans. Because, you know, you're sitting in the stadium. Everybody's cheering. Your team's winning. Woo! Yeah! Wow! But the other team, they're not liking it. They're hating on you. Load up your shame cannon, shoot some shame right at their face, and they'll feel it. They'll just feel the shame. They'll cry. They'll, they'll be saddened. It, it's the perfect solution. Bre- brighten your day up. Make theirs worse. You know how you sports fans are. I'm ready to talk mine up now. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I thought I was golden, but... Uh... Sports fans. Fans of sports? Well... Well, I, I've got the best way to support your best team, and that is with the patented uh, 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 Nate, uh, uh, Nate, Nate Co. War Glitter. War Glitter? War Glitter? That is right. Paint your body with the with the glitter of your enemies with Nate Co.'s War Glitter. Uh, uh, you, you take the War Glitter, you spread it across your body. It doesn't matter. It could be in any shape or form representing any team, because... My god, this guy is wearing glitter to support this team. Is this even legal yet? Who knows? But, war glitter. But can you shoot that glitter at your enemies? Absolutely. You have plenty of war glitter. You take this glitter from your enemies and you spray it back on them. War. I think I'm going to have to go with the shame cannon. Yeah! <laughs> the shame cannon! I tried so I hard. Tried. I, I did I better tried than so I hard. It. It's got so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter. <laughs> Easy, pirate. Don't care. Are you a pirate? Are a vast! Are you a butt pirate? Well, now you're a pirate. You know, I know you're kind. I've dealt with a lot of you. You come in, you buy my products. I got the perfect product for you, you know. You ever, you ever been swashbuckling on the, on the decks of your oh, ship? Oh, the swashbuckling, know, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes, sometimes you get a little jar going and you lose uh, your pistol. Yeah, yeah. You need your pistol, you're a pirate. Yeah, Best way to take them out quickly? I got the solution for you. Never lose your pistol again with Henpai Co's brand new patented gun rope. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly as it sounds. Jesus. It's a rope that you tie to yourself and then to your pistol. You'll never lose it again. Goes flying off. Just roll it back in with the rope. Okay. Back in your hand instantly, pretty much. Shoot him dead. Take his booty. After the great success of the soap rope of, uh, of all the inmates who couldn't quite keep a hold of that soap. Alright, your turn. Well then, trapped in 
got a fellow pirates trapped inside the the boring old age of the approximate 17th, 18th century. <laughs> Sick of all the terrible technology and, and, and needs of pirates that can only be fulfilled by your current time period. Well, look no further than the future ban banana. <laughs> future banana? <laughs> It's okay, not listening. the future banana. It is available on the coast of any tr of any continent you set sail to, and, and and tie your ship up to. Reach up, grab a good old future banana. Just because it's a wiretap sell to me, if it's on any coast I can. It is available on any coast that you set sail to. That's what I mean. Ah, oh, available you... at the at the traders. Okay, okay. No, I thought you said I can no. pick it. Now, how useful is it to him as a pirate? Yeah, we're we're on every single tree on that coast that you go to. Your demand is our... That, what, uh, what does this do for me? This future banana. Hold it in your hand. Peel it three times. No less, no more. You will end up in a much more, less, much less terrible time period than you currently are, where you can take any uh, plundering technology... And bring it back to your current time period. That, that, that's good for my pirate. Side effects may include uh, fucking up the future ahead of you. Misplaced bowels. And misplaced bowels. <laughs> misplaced bowels. <laughs> side Very effects, side effects include becoming a different just, kind of pirate. Just, <laughs> just arrive at time period. Fat shit right there. <laughs> just as soon as this ban the banana. By the way, full disclosure. I thought it said future ba bandana. bandana. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm not. Are you sure. dyslexic? <laughs> no. Anyway, continue with Michaels. As someone who sails the sea day and night, you need to know where you gotta go. Maps can only tell you so much with your telescopes right. and maybe your navigator. He don't. He doesn't know what he's doing sometimes. So that's why you need Star Cream. With Star Cream, you can see into the night sky, so you see the constellations, so you know where you're going, so you know just when and where to go for the best loot as fast as possible. And so you know when the tide is just right, so you can sail without issue, so you don't have to worry about no steady water, so you're not left boring, floating, dying. So you can get there quick and fast, so you know when the winds are coming in quick. So and blow your sails. Sky, you're going fast! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a hard one. Like, 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 bug eyes. Like, <laughs> you may get bug in your teeth because of how fast you're going. <laughs> like, the banana, that'd be really helpful, but I'm really digging the star. <laughs> Are you sure you can go into the future and grab gun a Gun rope, dude! You'll never lose your gun again. Oh. Listen, star cream... <laughs> That's not going to last very long. You know why? I can tell you right now, the Decepticons are going to be wanting their, fucking, their lieutenant's name back. Oh, damn it. Now, now I know you. You're a pirate. There, there's a future banana and some star cream. But you know what? We'll never wear down. Good old-fashioned gun rope. I might have to go to the star cream. That's really useful as a pirate. <laughs> Michael sold that star shit. Star banana. Michael sold that. Star cream shit. All right. Damn, I wish the band did. <laughs> but they went for the funnier sounding word. God damn. Dictator. Oh, speak to the butter funny got word. Oh, shit. I, let me see that product. So, so I got money to spend. Okay. Or you're executed. As a dictator, <laughs> you lead these poor people out of their miserable lives, and yet they still act very ungrateful and at true, times even depressed. Sometimes they have to hang some. Why? You control their every whim, and yet you can't control their happiness. We'll look no further than the joy whistle. <laughs> the joy whistle, you simply give the joy whistle a blow, and all and all your issues of their sadness will be washed away. But, but as a dictator, do you really care about the happiness? I'm definitely, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that's how dictators get assassinated, is unhappy people. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. If you're strong enough. You gotta, yeah. Side effects may include deafness. I can't like that. Okay. Tinnitus. Don't have to listen to them anymore, though. As a dictator, we both know you get enemies. Loose ends that you need to tie up real quick. People that Sometimes just... Sometimes with a gun rope. Sometimes with a gun <laughs> rope. Sometimes these people He's tend like, to talk. These people tend to talk 
way too much and say the wrong thing at the wrong time. So what you need is silence fluid. <laughs> a small <laughs> injection of silence fluid, and they're shutting up for a hot minute. Maybe forever. <laughs> You may not need to worry about these loose ends anymore. So you just find them, oh, yeah. single them out, dip a couple drops I'm, in their drink, they're done. I'm not I'm not saying I care as much since I'm a dictator. Is this silence fluid killing them? Is that how it shuts them up? Sounds a lot like poison. <laughs> we talked about that behind closed doors, okay? We don't have to, we don't have to disclose this publicly. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll just have to read the contract. Got it. <laughs> yeah, just... Just read the fine print, okay? No, don't but, read the fine print. <laughs> but with this sounds fluid, a couple drops here and there, or even a small injection. <laughs> that sounds good. I do like to shut people up. Yeah. See? <laughs> All right, so, yeah, my competition, they, they, they're selling some good products, but you're a dictator. You don't like to get your hands dirty. You don't want to do that yourself. Like, you, get, you have men to do that for you. Now, here's the problem. You go out, world meeting. You meet with the President of the United States, what have you. You go out there, what are they going to say? Man, this guy, he he's wearing booty shorts. Like, Why, why are we even talking to this guy? So, I got a solution for you. A suit tree. <laughs> you plant the tree, grows you, suit. Pinstripe, freaking straight gray. You're, you're set for life here. You you buy the tree, and you got all your meetings. You, you're looking nice on TV. Everybody under you, they're like, man, I, I really look up to that guy. Like, he... He looks like he knows what he's doing. And that's the kind of product I'm offering you. Do I have to buy separate trees for different suits? Or is it nope. all kinds it's of suits? So all over. It's a big tree. All right. I think I'm going to have to give it to the silence fluid, though. Yes! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> that is a little unfair. <laughs>